Careful, Dad. That's a close one. Whoa. Max, don't laugh, okay? Sorry. We're trying to work over here. <clears throat> shh, shh. Shh. Dad has to focus. Nope, I think I see you. <laughs> and my battery's about to die. It said it was at like 70 something percent. I think it lied. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It, was, it said it was at like 70% and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, now it's blinking red. Mm. Huh. Oh, I'm bleeding out. So why do you coat them in the sugar day? Coat them in sugar just like you do a snowball. Keep shaking it, rolling it into the sugar and you get it nice and thick on there. And that's what turns into liquid after you chocolate cover it. Mm -hmm. So that that's what it's the secret. That's the secret, you know. Everybody thinks you have a needle or something. You put it in there yeah. and put the liquid in there, but yeah. there's no needle. It's a lot easier this way. Put a little more. Just kind of eyeball it. Yep. Just kind of. You want to do too much because. Then they'll all get stuck together. Yeah. Just, this is probably enough right here. Yeah. Just a small amount. Just small amounts at a time. Mm -hmm. Not a little stuck there. Or pulling apart. So it's using Domino confectionery sugar? Yep, it's all uh, confectionery sugar. These are really hard ingredients to find. Yeah. Where do you get these maraschino cherries and sugar? Black market store. The store? Yeah. The black market store? <laughs> the bakery supply, or you can buy a small jar of this in a grocery store. Actually, both of these things in a grocery store, probably. Mm -hmm. We're gonna wash this off for now. Alright. You have fun. Homegrown cherries. Mm, you know what? My neighbor makes her gross cherries. Which of those would be a job cover? He makes homegrown cherries? Yeah. Your neighbor? He bakes them. <laughs> he bakes the cherries? What are the ingredients? Oh, I don't know. I've never asked him. I think it's an old uh, family secret recipe, so. Yeah. In the old it. country, probably. Yeah. yeah. That's where Dad learned how to make this stuff, huh? Yeah, in the old country. Okay. Oh, there's a couple stuck together. To unstick them. Basically, just add some sugar. Then mix them around, see how they pull get, them apart. See how they get red like yeah. that? You gotta, you gotta keep adding a little more sugar. Yeah. So you don't see that mm -hmm. until you're ready to. Uh, until you're red. Until you're ready to <laughs> really cover them. Mm -hmm. See how they're nice and white. Mm -hmm. And then if you leave them, then they'll get they'll get uh, soaked through. Mm. And the redness will show up more. Hmm. So where did you guys learn this recipe? Where? Yeah. Like with the confectionery sugar and stuff. That secret. Oh, well, just on the wide, wide web. You got it off the interwebs? Yeah, the interweb. <laughs> <laughs> so was it one of your guys' idea or was it like a request from somebody that was like pretty popular? A lot of people were asking me to make them, or if I made them, and I didn't know, I didn't make them for years, so then finally uh, I looked into it and uh, started making them. It's a pretty good business model. Yeah. You got enough people asking for a product, you might as well start making it. Yeah. 
Right. As long as you got the equipment. And then, did you have to buy this new bowl just for the yeah, series though? Yeah, wow, new that, bowl. That is an investment. Yeah, you know? this here is real plastic. Genuine plastic? Yeah. Wow. Genuine red plastic, no less. Something like that will pay for itself over a few years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> over a few years. Three, four, maybe. Yeah. Take a while. As long as you don't have to pay for repairs or anything, <clears throat> or getting any parts fixed. Yeah, it, uh, on your yeah. yeah, that's why it takes like three to four years to actually turn a profit with those Red Bulls. Yep. Genuine plastic ones, anyway. Red Bull? <laughs> you know, they're getting a little more red. Mm -hmm. It's, it's the red that's soaking through the juice and soaking through the sugar. Yeah. Making the sugar stick. It's pretty high tech. Yeah. I don't know. You know, it's pretty high tech, but it works. You want to get a nice coating on there. Otherwise, it won't have the liquid. Or yeah, in the, you know, you want them, You want to have them be nice and juicy. So, do you know what actually happens? Like, why they do that? I know somebody left a comment one time explaining it, but I forgot why. The chemical reaction. I don't really know. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm sure somebody knows. Maybe Miss Mitchell could tell us, huh, Max? Yeah, Miss Mitchell. Huh? I'm sure she could. She's been down here a couple times, like for uh, tours and stuff. Yeah. When he said ESM was looking to send somebody over, I thought that it was like an applied chemistry yeah. class. Yeah. I was so <laughs> stoked to see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try. Here. Oh, hey, Steve. Yeah. Some of these are looking a little big to me. Is that? Yep, they're a little big. Yeah. Okay. All right. If you're looking a little big, you're correct. <laughs> Make them a little smaller. Yeah, these look a little big. Is it okay that I'm doing them wrong? No. <laughs> okay, I just needed some clarification. <laughs> Should we still do things by hand? <laughs> nah. Because the last couple of videos have been in rubber videos. And I'm sure some uh, people are like, what, well, yeah. you guys not do anything by hand anymore? Yep, it's all over now. <laughs> this is the last thing we're doing by hand, believe it yeah, or not. Yeah, ever? So, yep. Wow. We're actually not even going to work here anymore. Yeah. We're going to bring a couple of robots in. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. See how the red they are, and you mm -hmm. add more confectionary sugar to them. Mm -hmm. so they don't stick to each other. They're just constantly adding confectionary so you're sugar always, to it. Yeah, you're always, you don't want them to get too red looking. Hmm. Because then they'll start. Because then they'll blend in with the bowl, and you won't know where they are. Stick and to each other, and yeah. That too, huh? You don't want them to stick to each other. Hey, why don't you guys get a blue bowl so they don't blend in with the bowl, and you guys can find them. The That's blue bowls cost too. more. Oh. I haven't got that much money. Yeah. Shoot! Don't even get started with the green bowls. Yeah. Those are like every candy maker's dream. Yeah, like that one. What? When did you guys get those? Sand drop them off. Wow. For Christmas. For Christmas? Yeah. You ready? <laughs> I guess. Makes more sense than for Easter. Hey, can you do the, the twist thing real quick? Steve, you're talking about this one. <laughs> oh, the twist. Yeah, there you go. That's, yeah, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> Yeah, I can do that. Mm -hmm. What else you want? Mm, that's it. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, what happened there? See that? 
Well, the sugar sometimes doesn't let the chocolate stick to it. It kind of leaves a bare spot. Oh yeah. Kind of the chocolate kind of rolls off them sometimes. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure they're covered. Mm. So you just had to pick it up quick because there wasn't enough chocolate on it. Yeah, I wanted to get it right back off there and yeah. cover it up. These are are tough to do. Mm -hmm. Got any tips for people doing these at home? Then I'll cover them. Uh, you got to cover them two times because the first time they leak out. The second time that covers up the leaks and it yeah. should stop. You might still get a leaker or two, but. So what about as far as uh, doing this the first time? You got to do anything to make sure you don't crush the cherry or anything? Yeah, don't squeeze them. Don't squeeze them? Wow. Number one tip. Just cover don't. them. Yeah. <laughs> they get too fat, you just squeeze them. <laughs> <laughs> What are you making faces cute, at? Man. The polar bears? Yeah, they're all smuggling with their mom and stuff. They're marauding killing machines, Max. It's okay. But I guess for right now they're cute marauding killing machines. You know what? The cute ones are the babies and the babies aren't even killing machines. Not yet. They probably haven't killed anything yet. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Put a little more in here because they're red now. Yeah. So you just go by it. Color, yep. eyeball it constantly. Because like, yep, they'll stick <laughs> to each other, and you don't want that. Yeah. Hey, quit touching me. Hmm. I have to separate you two. He's touching me. I'm not touching you. You're touching me. They're like little kids, huh? Yeah, it's just like you guys used to do when What? I would never. Yeah. Little angels. Yeah, that was me. Anyway, I don't know about my sisters, but I was a little angel. Right, Dad? You and Kara are always arguing in the back seat. What? I don't think that would be me. You're probably thinking of Max. It was It was probably like Kara was like, Hey, Craig, let's kick Mom and Dad's seats. And Craig was like, No, we shouldn't do that. That's not right. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Max. Max was there, clearly. Yeah. Craig told me that story. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was there. That sounds about right, huh, Dad? Uh, let me think. No. What? Wow. Now everyone knows. Yeah, everyone knows. <laughs> Oh wow, you can actually like see the shininess on some of them. Yeah, see? Well now you can't. Yeah, wait for it to temper now. Yeah, it's a little warm. Yeah. You just what you're doing too? Yeah. Just, no, I'm just not working. Just tempering? Yeah. Make it yep. smaller now, Max. I'm trying, but I think I think that the problem I'm having is that uh, the chocolate is too warm. I mean, they're a little smaller. Chocolate's too warm. What's that called? Like I couldn't squeeze enough chocolate out of. I don't know. Maybe the. Maybe <laughs> I'm making excuses. <laughs> I mean, can you tell they're all like super flat too? Like you see this guy. Oh yeah. Like so. Uh, well, that's okay. As long as they, as long as they look good and they're tempered and. Yeah. And they're not this big. <laughs> they're not, you know, two or three bites. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I'm trying to make this more. This, uh... But it's supposed to be like one bite for the pecan, or palm? Um, uh, just supposed pecan to be... Pecan clusters? Yeah. yeah. Now, all the clusters are supposed to be just a bite size. You know? Yeah. I got a big mouth, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, when... When Terry told me to bring home those peanut clusters, I must have eaten like four bags in two days. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, like it was bad. So <laughs> Did you let your family know that nope. you brought it? <laughs> nope. There, there I, was no proof, huh? Actually I think now I there is. one bag downstairs, but then I went downstairs and I ate them. <laughs> yeah, it was It's a thought that almost counts. Yeah, yeah. I mean they didn't know I ate them. Yeah. Even when your mouth was full? <laughs> Do you eat these? No. 
Nope. <laughs> Not I. How high can you go, Dad? High as my arm reaches. No, oh, that's pretty high. Oh. Okay, ready? <laughs> yep. Alright. Now, people at home can do this in a little bowl of chocolate and mm -hmm. dunk, dunk them in there and then have, use a fork or something to, mm -hmm. to uh, or a spoon to do this, but the chocolate still has to be tempered. It has to yeah. be nice and cool to like about 84, 85. Yeah. 84, 85 degrees. They're making them for themselves. I mean. Yeah. Don't use gloves. Just get your hands in the chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're just for you. You're just gonna be licking your hands anyway. Yeah. You know. And then you can really get the full experience. Mm-hmm. We're all out of these dark cherries. Yeah, that's no a good cherries. reason to make them. So we're all trying to store, stock up again. Just yeah. like the other day when we were making uh, peanut butter cups because we were all out of them. Mm -hmm. and now we have them. Wow. It's crazy how that works. It's yeah. Really something. And we're doing a live stream when we were doing it and everyone's like, where are the peanut butter cups? Yeah. We're, we're doing them right we're now, actually. We're making them right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're literally going as fast as we can to get them out there. Have you guys even had a chance to start working on the, the Valentine's Day specific kind of candies? Yeah, the assorted chocolates we already started. Right, but I mean like any like heart shaped things. We made a couple of heart ones couple. yesterday. Yeah. But like literally a couple but of them. But we, yeah. we're still out of clusters upstairs. We're mm. still out of nut cups. So you guys are doing like the most basic things first? Yeah, and we're still out of uh, our sort of chocolates are very low. Mm -hmm. So I gotta make all that up too. I think mom said that uh, a lot of people are like procrastinators when it comes to Valentine's Day. Yeah, so. that's the last minute. Mm -hmm. so like uh, four days before the holiday, that's our busiest time for mm -hmm. Valentine's. Mm -hmm. And then uh, all the guys wait till the day before. <laughs> So the three days before is all the girls, and then the, the guys yeah. come in one day before. Women come day in. Day of. They come in uh, up to a week early. Mm -hmm. But the guys wait till the last minute. And then they, they just Google. The they just Google uh, <laughs> chocolate. What do girls like? <laughs> what do girls like? <laughs> That's my go-to. <laughs> This is more like what do people like? Chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> like an alien species. Like, what do people like? <laughs> Candy. They like chocolate. Have you seen that picture of Elon Musk and he's like ziplining and it's like. And the humans call this ziplining? And it's like, yeah, and they enjoy it very much. Well, if they enjoy it very much, then so will I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw an interview with him and. Uh, Someone was talking about how, like, they were saying, oh, Elon Musk, like, you can't do this, or you can't do, like, he had, like, some people saying he couldn't do something, or, like, some haters, or whatever, and then the the person who was, like, interviewing him was, like, telling him that, and then he just, like, sips a drink of water, and he just goes, okay. <laughs> the level of not caring is just, it's over 9,000. Dude, the man is, right, isn't he, like, he's planning on... Colonizing Mars, so yeah. how can you tell a guy that's going to colonize another planet that he can't do something? That he can't do something on Earth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. I don't feel like we have to worry about the future of the planet because we've got Elon Musk. As long as we've got him, the we future is there. We just need like 10 more of him. Yeah, and we just need him to live forever. You know that's, what? If anybody could figure out how to live forever. He would be my first pick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Elon? For you. Welcome to the Elon Musk podcast.
still tampering. Yeah. Just takes a couple minutes. Just making some designs. Yep. Rich can you make it? Yeah. Can you make a cool design, Dad? I guess what that is. Huh? Guess what that is? A swirl. Oh, I guess. A zero. A six. A smiley Coins face. Is that a smiley face? Yeah. <laughs> I discovered it one day when I was running, and I kept on running. <laughs> that's what, oh, I can't even say the other part. Yeah. <laughs> what was this girlfriend's name? Jenny. Me and Jenny, we always together. <laughs> <laughs> Are you dumb or something? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen that movie, Dad? No. Oh. Uh, I've heard it's good. You never know what you're gonna get. Yeah. When it comes to movies. <laughs> shrimp kebab. Shrimp pate. Shrimp pate. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> shrimp pate. Shrimp party. Shrimp party, yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Party shrimp stuff. Everything's name? just really tiny at a shrimp party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, if I had my own house, I would, I would throw a party like that. That'd be awesome. Shrimp? A really Let's tiny party. With, like, a tiny party. <laughs> <furniture or something. laughs> hmm. People would be showing up like, where's the shrimp at? No, everything's just what shrimpy. Else, what else does he say? <laughs> Here's your beer. <laughs> Here's your beer. <laughs> what else does he say? Um, other things and various <laughs> colloquialisms. Boy, your mama sure cares about your schooling. Let's <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it that. I showed the president I got shot in the butt kiss. <laughs> I drank four seven <laughs> Dr. Peppers that night. <laughs> oh, she wasn't covered right. Quick Steve at it again. Mm hmm. We got a connector right there. A connector? Yeah. I hardly know it. What do you mean? Oh, no, not anymore. That's it was connected. Thing. Two of the cherries were connected by they chocolate. Were? Yeah, there was like a string of chocolate in between them. Are you sure? Yeah, I got video evidence. No, I don't think so. Oh, Prove that's it. okay. It's fake as an evidence. Mm. It's fake news. <laughs> oh. See, Ooh. look at there, see the spot? Yeah. Sometimes the, the chocolate doesn't stick. Mm -hmm. It just rolls right off. Because hmm. of the sugar. We can't have that. No. No way in heck. Oh, see, right there too. Shh, wait, hold on, okay. I gotta zoom in on that. I just, I just covered it all, but it still came off. They can see some of them leaking through already, actually. Yeah. I know. Where? Yeah, there's one. Chemical reaction already. Right in the middle of the screen. Oh, just drip down. Are you just trying to hurt your dad's feelings or what? I mean. Yeah. On, man. I'm trying. Oh. Not sticking too well. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, you think they got how to do it? Pretty smart folks. I'm sure they could figure out how to do it now. And action. This is take two, right? Okay. The second, is, uh, the second this coating. Is the second coating. The of sequel the, of the cherries. The sequel, yes. <laughs> Coat them a second time because a lot of them have. We call them leakers. leakers. See right there, right on the table or on the on the tray. Mm -hmm. You're leaking. You got I'm sure people wouldn't really argue with more chocolate anyway. Yeah, there you go. Put it oh, little... you guys coat my cherry with two coats of chocolate? Yeah. Oh, oh. That's the worst. That's awful, huh? Man. Put two coats on there and then the <laughs> holds it in better. Mm -hmm. 
So these are the milk chocolate ones. They're covered twice. Mm -hmm. hmm. <coughs> now this is takes. Um, it took me all day to do all these. Yeah. Just like yesterday, we made uh, peanut butter cups because everybody everybody says we're out of them. But I'm making them. We're trying to we're run out of uh, so many things from Christmas. We're trying to catch up. Mm -hmm. But everything's still made by hand. So everybody that wonders that, or says that we have a rover and nothing's going to be made by hand, that couldn't be farther from the truth. Yeah. We still make a lot of things by hand. Yeah. <clears throat> and the Enrober allows you to have the time to make those things by hand too. Yeah, yeah. The Enrober helps out a lot. But yeah. Still, a lot of things we do by hand. Yeah, otherwise we'd be out of even more stuff than yeah, we already yeah, are. Yeah, I'd be. <laughs> yeah, I already work twelve hours. I, I don't know. I'd have to work longer, I guess. Yeah. You know, and leading up to Christmas, weren't you guys working like up to like sixteen hours a day? Well, I was doing fourteen hours a day, and your mom did. Uh, 16. Yeah. That's Saturdays and Sundays and Monday through Friday. Yeah. People don't, they think we probably have weekends off or something, but. No, you, no. Guys, are, you guys are the owners. Owners yeah. don't get their weekends <laughs> off. <laughs> Alright, so I know we were doing the dark ones, but you guys already did the dark one. I wasn't looking, right? Oh, I don't know. I didn't do those. Oh, mom Somebody said. Somebody did them. Probably mom. It was me. You I would did do it. that. Guilty as charged. <laughs> She's a good helper like that. Yeah, but the milk. Yeah, they're both. They're done the exact same way. So. Right. Well, I, I don't know. Are the dark chocolate? Are they put in a different cup color? Maybe. Probably. No. They're not. No. Oh. Well, we, cherries. We always do in red. Okay. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It does make sense. So now we have the milk ones and they go in the red cups because mm -hmm. that way you know that they're cherries <laughs> and so i'm doing a nine piece because we have nine piece and we have four piece that we okay. offer and, and these are the same ones that the truffles will, would go in the same box yes have, have you done truffles yet <laughs> no <laughs> i have not because uh truffle season was uh very fast paced for me. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's like we got the truffles, we made the truffles, and they hurry up and got packaged and mm -hmm. I did not actually get to do those. Hmm. So because I was busy um, getting all of the other candy packaged for Christmas yeah. or running the register because it was pretty busy. Yeah. Or filling orders to ship out mm. for everybody who on the YouTubes. On the YouTubes. <laughs> All right, so now I got nine in here. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful. I'm going to weigh them. So I got to make sure I get the right the orange weight. Scale. The orange scale. And I have no idea how much this is going to weigh because, like I said, I've never done these before. Mm -hmm. Seven and a half. Eight. Let's try nine. <gasps> Getting closer. Eight, seven, five. I, 8.5 that looks good to me yeah how much does it have to be or do you just write the weight on the box yeah i just write the weight on the box because you have to subtract the weight of the box because mm -hmm. that way you know what weight the chocolate actually is mm -hmm. that's called the tear so the question is what is 8.5 minus 1.75 don't ask me i don't know either <laughs> If only we had an addin' or subtractin' machine. <gasps> Do we have one? Oh, this one's... Alright, let's try it. This one usually gives me uh, stress. Alright, what did I say? 8.5... Uh, yeah. 8.5 minus 1.75. No, that <laughs> did not work! You just work. have to hit minus really hard, maybe? No, <laughs> no, 8.5 minus point. Yeah, you definitely oh, hit what? minus. Maybe, maybe hit it really hard. All right, 8.5. There you go. All right. That's what you had to do, I guess. <laughs> All right. Now, let's see if it's going to work. Nope. Did you hit it really hard? <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay. Whee! 6.75. It says negative 6.75. I know, but that's okay because <laughs> we know what the yeah. number itself is right. Yeah. Um, so let me Math's get Math's hard. Math is hard. Do you have to help any of your kids with math homework or you just tell them to... Well, no. Just look online. I, uh, 
and it's interesting because when my uh, child was doing math, um, I can't stick that on with a glove. Mm -hmm. When my child was doing math when she was younger, <clears throat> I would try and help her the way that I learned math, and I'm sure a lot of you parents out there understand this. <laughs> and then she would get upset because they couldn't do math that way. Mm, not allowed to anymore? Not allowed to. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, this way is easier. Why can't we do it this way? <laughs> I'm going to get yelled at. And I'm like, are you kidding me? She was not kidding. So even when my child was younger i could not help her with math hmm. yeah so i guess you're off the hook i'm off the hook and now <laughs> she's doing stuff that i don't even know how to do yeah so we're gonna put one of the little um pads in here to keep the chocolate from sticking mm -hmm. and stuff and then the lid voila i think i'm supposed to put something else on this like i've never a, done these a before golden tassel. <gasps> the golden tassel yeah mm -hmm. let me get some of those uh, there we go. The medium sized ones? Yeah, medium. Because those would be too big and they'll just fall off. They're for like the, the one stretchy. pound assorted box size? Yeah. Actually, those giant ones are for the two pounders. Oh, okay. Yeah. So these ones we use for almost everything. Hmm. This is like the perfect size. Yeah. Voila. But I usually. <laughs> <laughs> it will need a barcode and a best buy date mm -hmm. but i usually uh try and get all the boxes done first oh yeah because then it's easier just to go ch -ch -ch -ch, get them all done at the same time do you use that sound effect when you're sometimes yeah because it makes there. it it makes it more exciting yeah you know i feel like i'm accomplishing so much more and really fast mm -hmm. even though i'm probably not mm. so yeah that's that's the drill i'm trying not to walk too fast and i want to cool this knife off yeah I want to create a wind, okay. Yeah. So. So you heated up the knife. I did. So, oh. so if anyone wants to do this at home, got to heat up that knife. Just run under some warm water. Yeah, it's not working that well. It's still going to break. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, yeah. You can kind of see it's all gooey and stuff. And actually, with cherries, the longer they sit, the gooier they become. So if you get it like, and eat it like a week later or something? Mm-hmm. Because the, the yeah, sugar just keeps breaking the cherry down, and making it more liquidy and hmm. messy. You bite into it, and they'll just like be a big mess. Okay, okay. 